Hi, my name is Chloe and I'm going to be giving you some top tips on looking after your children's teeth in their first year. Uh -oh. Your baby should start teething around six months old and will continue to until all 20 teeth come through. Babies do go through teething pain and can get a high temperature. Their cheeks may go red and be warm to the touch. There are special gels you can use along with any pain relief that is safe mm. for your baby to use. You can always use teething rings and toys, which may help your child. Wow. All teething pains vary, so always speak to your dental team or doctor if you are concerned. If your baby does need a dummy or soother, there are orthodontic dummies that are approved by dental specialists. These can help to reduce this risk. We would always recommend that you use this type of dummy. If you do use a dummy, soother or teething ring, never dip them into fruit juices, syrups or anything containing sugar, as these will attack your baby's newly formed teeth and cause decay. Hmm. We encourage you to start brushing your child's teeth as soon as their first tooth appears, at least twice a day, once before bed and at least one other time in the day. It is advisable that after brushing before bed that your baby does not have any other food or drinks other than water as this can lead to dental decay. We advise brushing your child's teeth with a flat smear of toothpaste containing 1,000 parts per million fluoride. We recommend this up until the age of three years old. To find the fluoride levels, look on the side of the toothpaste box and make sure you use a toothbrush with a small head. Adult size is too big for those little mouths. It is important to brush each surface of your child's tooth as thoroughly as you can ideally for two minutes. Following the diagram on the screen, focus on these four areas. Number one, outside place the brush at an angle along the outer gum line. Brush gently in circles and repeat for each tooth. Two, inside repeating technique on step one, brush the inside surface of each tooth. Three, at the back of the mouth, brush the chewing surface of each tooth. And four, Behind the front teeth, use tip of the toothbrush to brush behind each front tooth, both top and bottom. Brushing down to the gum level is equally as important as brushing the teeth, as this is where the plaque builds up. We know this can sometimes be a battle, so feel free to find creative ways to keep your child entertained, like using their favourite video or song. Some brushes come with flashing timers, or a sand timer to show them the length of time they should be brushing their teeth. There is an app called the Brush DJ that provides a two minute timer to music. This app also has short videos showing how to brush your child's teeth. Some of your child's favourite cartoons may have a dental wow. episode for them to watch. Try to encourage children to spit out their toothpaste rather than rinsing out with water or a mouthwash. Rinsing gets rid of the fluoride which stops it working. Ensure your child is not swallowing any toothpaste and wipe away any excess from their mouths if they are not able to spit. Never allow your child to eat or lick the toothpaste out of the tube. Diet is important when it comes to your teeth. For the first six months, babies should only drink breast milk or formula. After six months, encourage your baby to drink from an open or free flow cup. By 12 months, we recommend that you no longer use bottles as these are linked to tooth decay in young children. Ideally, sugary foods should be kept to a minimum or given straight after a meal as this minimises the number of sugar attacks on your child's teeth. Group eating is better for your teeth than snacking. For example, it's better to have your meal with a juice and a pudding in one sitting rather than spacing these out over the day. Every time we eat, the bacteria in our mouths turns the sugar into acid and this attacks your child's teeth and causes decay. Avoid sugar between meals where possible or try sugar-free alternatives. When shopping to find healthier and reduced sugar food and drinks for your baby, the NHS Food Scanner app is a great tool to use. This helps to identify these for you rather than you spending more time in the shops reading all the packaging. There is also a traffic light system on packaging for food and drink that makes it easy to identify high sugar food and drinks. There is no guideline sugar limit for children under the age of 4, but it is recommended they avoid sugar sweetened drinks and food with sugar added to it. Between meal times and the hour before bed, children should only drink plain milk or water, and when using medicines, always ask for sugar free. 
Here is a sugar board with a few examples of food and drinks you would typically give your child as a tree at this age and a rough estimate of the value of sugar they hold. Four grams of sugar equates to one cube. Aim to register your baby with a dentist and visit them as soon as your baby's first tooth appears or at least before their first birthday. We know it can be quite difficult to find a dentist but make sure you are on as many waiting lists as possible and you will be contacted when your child reaches the top of the list. For help to find a dentist, Dental Choices is a website designed to make it easier for you to find and register with an NHS dentist. If your child is having pain, problems or suffered trauma with their teeth, contact dentalchoices.org or NHS 111 for help and advice. Once you are registered with a dentist, make sure you attend for regular visits. It's free for children up until they are 18 years old and it's a good habit to get them into from a young age. So let's remember, Number one, brush their teeth twice a day. Two, register with a dentist and visit every six months. Three, avoid sugar between meals where possible. And finally four, avoid dummies and bottles after your baby's first birthday. Please don't forget to share this information with your family and friends. That is everything from me today and I hope this video has helped you by providing some top tips to look after your child's teeth. 